Lights 132 here and welcome back to my channel you guys. I am extremely excited. I'm just excited. I, I know some people are going to come for me but I started my luck journey June 21st. I am officially three weeks I think three weeks and a couple days um, locked. But I wanted to stretch it and wait to my Walmart mark to actually wash my hair and, uh, you know, do a retwist. I know from doing my research, a lot of people say, you know, just, I guess, go by what your hair needs. And as a loose natural, um, I wear protective styles all the time, so I'll wear those for months. But with me actually having my hair out now, my scalp is itching something terribly terribly like it's really itching so it says you know trust your hair and your process and i think that's what i'm gonna go by i'm not gonna go by what you know everyone else is saying is saying wait your one month or wait six weeks before you actually wait retwist i need to retwist now um because um some of my hair is i think some of my twists are actually coming well like this one on the side always comes out. So let me take this off and show you guys what it looks like. Look at this. Can you guys see that? And you see all that loose hair? That's going on in there. Turn around and show you the back. Sorry, my dress got caught in my Show you the back and what it looks like. Um, so I have this one right here that tends to just unravel and do his own thing um this one is somewhat similar i don't know if that's because when i go to work work i wrap it and my hair is flat underneath the ones like my hair texture is so weird because i, I had um shaved my sides a few years ago well years ago and then i let it grow back so when i did the big chop every these this my sides have already been chopped low this part is what I only left about this much at the top. So it's growing kind of differently. My back is a lot thicker and more, I guess I can say more mature than the top of my hair because it was like to my skin. I had no hair on this side. So it actually grew from the root all the way up. So this is what they are looking like. And like I said, if I go to the middle, directly in the middle of my head, um, I hope you guys can see this. Let me show you what the, the ones in the middle look like. They are so much thicker, and they are a lot longer than right here. They are a lot longer than the rest of my hair. So I decided today, I was off, I said I was going to wash it. But I'm going to use the stocking cap method because you can see some of them are hanging by dear life. And I don't want them to unravel completely. Um, so the things that I've been using on my hair, um, I do moisturize it every day. I use this spray bottle right, he right here. It's like it comes out as a mist. This was the old bottle that I had. But in this bottle, I have um, some water. Um, I actually use like the bottle water. I don't use um, the water in the sink because I think Arizona water is pretty pretty harsh like look at this one this one's kind of like if you can see the root of this and i hope you can look how it's looking like that is like mad at at the root well at this root part and um but in my spray bottle like i said i have water i have a little lemon juice in here and then i have um some oils i have some excuse me some almond oil some grapeseed oil and um no i don't have grapeseed oil in there i have um i forgot i think it's like a growth oil that i have in here i forgot what i have in here completely but this is what i spray my hair with every day and then um this bottle i was using this but there was none left there was only about a little bit left in there um this is a great um, staple product to have this is the 10 in 1 hair growth oil um, that's not what's in here now but normally I will get that and I have to order some more but this has the peppermint the rosemary castor oil lavender av avocado coconut vitamin E macadamia um, oil 
grapefruit oil and argan oil is very good uh, for hair growth as well but what's in this bottle is grapeseed oil um almond oil and then i have a little bit of the oil that was left in here so i use this on my hair oh. i'm spreading it everywhere i use this on my hair every day now what i'm going to wash my hair with is i wanted something with um tea tree oil I mean tea tree oil in it and i found this in my i i use this brand before i hope you guys can see it um it is hask i think i'm pronouncing that correctly but i've used this before i used the bio biotin brand um kind this one is the tea tree oil and rosemary um it is the invigorating shampoo refresh refreshes and smooth scalp shampooing rejuvenated um so i'm going to use this it says free of sulfates um gluten dry and alcohol artificial colors um a lot of this is in another language so it just refresh your scalp and hair with has has tea tea tree oil and rosemary shampoo formulated for purifying tea tree oil and calming rosemary to help remove impurities and smooth the scalp leaving hair nourished and healthy looking so i'm going to use this and then I'm also going to use, I had this in my cabinet already, the Crema Nature Pure Honey uh, Shampoo. This is for dry and dehydrated hair. Um, pure Honey Rich Coconut Oil Creamy Shea Butter uh, is a moisturizing sh shampoo. So I'm going to use that because of my hair being dyed. And I did dye my hair, um, I want to say like um, two to three months before, two months I think, before I... So I decided to, oh, let's say two, maybe maybe two, might not be a whole two months before I decided to lock my hair. Now I'm trying not, not to make this video super long because there's so many videos out there on how to wash it. Um, I guess I can show you guys the sort of process of it if I can set my camera up correctly in the bathroom for it. I, um, I can, again, there's so many videos out. If I can't, then I'll just come back when I'm ready to twist. This is the stock. Oh, it comes with two. But this is the stocking cap, and I'm just going to place it over my head.
guys this is what it's looking like so far like i said there's a million videos on how to excuse my motion that's my oil um how to retwist your hair but let me show you what mine is looking like so far back this is the section up here that thins mostly so I, that has a bigger a larger um lock so and now let me show you the things that I've been using. I've been using the Lily, Lily of the Desert. Um, same thing that I started my um, starter locks with. Um, aloe berry gel, 99% jelly. I've been using, um, this is a mixture of my Dew Grow. I don't know if you guys can see that. My light is so bright in here. Dew Grow Mega Thick Formula along with some grapeseed oil and almond oil and instead of water I've been using this leave-in conditioner uh, the Aussie hair insurance leave-in conditioner um, on my hair as well as uh, some foam wrap lotion so I use I only use this on the roots and of course I have a comb uh, Bricktail for the party, and then I have my clips. This is my second bag. Well, not second bag. Um, my other ones are were in here, but I only have like one left. Um, so I'm not sure if I want to have a middle part or a deep part and have them go this direction. That's the way that I had it when I first started it. Um, so I might continue to go with the deep part and might switch it up every now and then excuse me something in my eye until my hair um starts to grow a little longer so all right guys this i'm finished twisting um again i'm a little oily that's from my oil and my spray so i'm gonna sit in the dryer for a little bit and then um this is the back you guys can see it let's see yeah, we should be able to see it. And this is what it's looking like. My mirror. Okay, this is what it's given. I don't know. I'm still like at the stage of yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna end up sticking out. Like, look at that. I don't know what to do with that. I think I'm just going to twist it a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, a little bit. But, this is my first retwist. Um, let you guys look at the back. I don't know what it really looks like. I have a little, a little hang time. Just a little bit. So it's no telling how, I don't know, I don't know what to do with this, I don't know, I feel like I'm still all shiny, but, I don't know, it's like, should I have, put it, oh, I shouldn't have done it that way, maybe I should have just did my deep part like I did the last time where these were it was a deep part in it like I, I don't know I don't know you guys um this is a I'm sorry messing with it this is a challenging time for me I don't want to I have patience I really have patience and I have I'm considered to have the most patient patience in the world especially at work because I work in sight but this is really trying my patience with the way my hair is right now I can't really wear I mean I normally don't wear my natural when I was a loose natural wear really out out um, cause I'm always putting in protective styles. I'm always changing my hair up constantly. So, um, 
I need another ring light because I broke my cap, my cover. So look, this is how like it needs to be. Like I feel like it's I'm right now. It's just, like in my face. But um I'm trying. I am pushing through. I'm ready to accept all that my hair is going to give me and what it wants to do for itself. Um, that's the reason why I didn't want to, um, you know, wrap all of the hair around, the loose hair around, because if it's going to be frizzy, hey, I'm going to accept the frizzy. So any tips that you guys can give me, like I said, I am three weeks and a couple days. I couldn't wait my one month. Um, to actually retwist. Um, I will be back um, with one month just to give you an update on this twist. I will not be retwisting on my one month anniversary. Um, I will try to stretch it to my two month uh, depending on how my hair reacts. Um, right now I am, like I said, three weeks, a little over three weeks with this. So... I'm excited and look at this guys look at this one this one actually has a butt, a butt already do you see this three weeks look at that and this one is more much of my one of my larger locks can you see it look at that that is a butt already at the rate so I'm excited the only thing about it is my hair texture is all over the place like all over the place like my even though I had my sides shaved, the perimeter of my hair is very very soft and it's not as thick as the rest. And then the middle and the top of my hair, not excluding these two, well, still even these two right here. If you can see what they look like, this is three weeks in. Um, I just want my hair to be able to get a little thicker. I hope it grows that way. If not, I will still accept it and embrace it. So, um, if you guys want to continue to follow me on my journey, you know what to do. Definitely, definitely subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button. Specialize it for all or whenever I have any videos specialize it and um or personalize it that's what is up there and all lock videos and like comment on this video if you have any questions you have any tips you want to share with me um if you already lock if you already started your lock journey feel free to leave a comment i would definitely come at comment back until next time you got it i will see you at my one month to give you an update if I don't make it on my one month, I would definitely be back for my two month anniversary. Um, it's kind of hard at this point when I'm filming this video, I have not posted. I have yet to post my initial twisting of my locks video yet because I'm working full time and I'm in nursing school full time. So it's kind of hard with working all, but I have two months left in school. So hopefully... Um, by the time I graduate, um, I'll be able to show you guys more, um, give you guys more content as far as my updates. And I was, I started out faithfully on YouTube and I have so many videos that I have not posted as far as so many protective styles that maybe I will gradually go in and just add those in throughout the process. But enough for me. Lights 132. Until next time.